And the first extension on our list is going to be Beautify. And what Beautify does, it makes our code look good and more readable. So whenever you would want a brackets extension, you would go over here to the file and you can click over here extension manager or you have a shortcut over here. So we can click this icon and you can see that you have a, a window opening up and you have available and you have themes and you have installed. Now themes is the background setting for the brackets. So let's say if you would want a darker color, you can go over here, but we're going to be covering that in this video. So available is the available extensions that uh, you, you can have and installed is obviously the ones that we have installed already. I cleaned my folder for the purpose of this video, but as we will be installing them, they will be appearing over here. Now let's jump to available and we can right over here beautify and you can see over here beautify now you can click for more info but since i already and especially it's good for the themes because then you can really check whether it's a theme that you want but since for the purpose of this video i already checked whatever i everything that i needed so i'm going to be right away going to the install so i'm clicking install and you can see that it's downloading right now and installation successful so we close over here, we close over here. Now there's three ways how we can work with brackets. I'm sorry, there's three ways how we can work with Beautify. Now, whatever we start typing, and for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be over exaggerating. I don't believe that whenever you're writing your files, you'll be doing something like this. But let's say that I'm making it very messy and very unreadable. So we have three options. I go over here and I can right click it and you can see that I have my Beautify appearing over here. So I can click it over here and you can see how the code right away jumped back to the uh, much more neater and much more better look. Or I can actually use the shortcut, uh, which would be for the Mac, it would be Shift Command L. And let me show you what happens. So again, we select the code and we press Command, Shift and L. And again, you can see what happened that it basically went back to back to the more readable format. Now. The good thing about it is that you can also do the same thing with your CSS or with your JavaScript files. So I'm going to do over here in uh, CSS. So again, the same thing. Let's say you start typing and you're like working and working and it's again over exaggeration, but still it is possible. So again, you would select the code, but also there's another option which you can do. You can see over here, beautify on save. So I just click here and once you save the file, you can see right away at the moment I save the file, actually, it actually cleaned up everything and, and made it m much more nicer.